Coastal flooding is already a serious problem that coastal New Hampshire communities are facing, and conditions are only expected to get worse in the coming decades due in part to climate change. Flooding impacts all of us, whether we're right on the coast or further inland. The effects of sea level rise, storms, and more extreme precipitation events put roads, public and private buildings, natural resources, and people at risk. The latest scientific information on coastal flooding for New Hampshire was updated in 2019. The New Hampshire Coastal Flood Risk Summary, Part 1 Science, provides updated projections of sea level rise, coastal storms, groundwater rise, precipitation, and freshwater flooding for coastal New Hampshire over the next century. The report was developed by top scientists here in New Hampshire with input from local technical experts, climate adaptation practitioners, and external reviewers. Let's take a look at what the science report says. We know that sea levels are rising in New Hampshire and are projected to continue to rise for centuries. Sea levels are rising as a result of ocean warming combined with melting glaciers and ice sheets. Local tide gauge data show that sea level has risen about 7.5 to 8 inches from 1912 to 2018. King tide events like the ones documented in these photos are the highest astronomical tides of the year. In addition to these more extreme events, we know from local tide gauge data and from observations that high tide flooding is occurring on average two to three days per week in Hampton. These extreme high tides give us a glimpse of what water levels could be like every day in the future. This tells us that we are already seeing the effects of rising seas on New Hampshire's coastal properties, roads, public facilities, human health, public safety, economy, and natural resources. Looking ahead, projections show that if global greenhouse gas concentrations stabilize by the end of the century, coastal New Hampshire is likely to experience between half a foot and 1.3 feet of sea level rise by 2050. It is less likely but possible that sea level rise could exceed 2.9 feet by 2050. After 2050, there is more uncertainty and a larger possible range in the projections. For example, by 2100, still assuming that greenhouse gas concentrations stabilize, coastal New Hampshire is likely to experience between 1 and almost 3 feet of sea level rise, but could see more than 8.7 feet of sea level rise. If global greenhouse gas concentrations continue to grow instead of leveling off, sea level rise projections are even higher. As sea levels rise, we now know that coastal groundwater levels will also rise. In coastal New Hampshire, groundwater rise is projected to extend up to three miles inland from the coast. This is about three to four times farther inland than tidal water inundation from sea level rise. The amount and extent of groundwater rise is influenced by different factors, such as geology and the proximity of streams and freshwater wetlands. Rising groundwater impacts drinking water quality, septic systems, roads, basements, and other underground infrastructure, as well as natural resources like wetlands. Storm surge is the rise in water level above the normal tide as a result of a storm. Studies suggest that future North Atlantic storms could become more intense and more frequent due to warming oceans. We expect to see more damaging storm surge in coastal New Hampshire both due to greater storm intensity as well as rising seas. Local research also suggests that ocean currents will also increase as sea levels rise, resulting in more erosion and placing property, infrastructure, and wildlife habitat at risk. Today, 24-hour extreme precipitation events drop between 1 to 2 more inches of rain in coastal New Hampshire than they used to in the 1950s. The frequency of these extreme precipitation events is projected to rise over the course of the next several decades, especially in the springtime. This will likely result in a bigger risk of flooding. 
we have seen freshwater flooding in coastal New Hampshire increase in magnitude and frequency over the past four decades in response to both more precipitation and a rise in development in the coastal watershed. More development leads to more pavement and built surfaces, which are impervious, resulting in more stormwater runoff and less infiltration. These trends are expected to continue upward in the future as a result of both climate change and land use change. There is a lot more information to dig into in the science report. This information is the scientific foundation for the companion New Hampshire Coastal Flood Risk Summary Part 2, Guidance for Using Scientific Projections, which provides a framework for government officials, businesses, and members of the public to incorporate coastal flood risk information in planning, regulations, and site-specific projects. You can access the science report and the guidance report at the link in the description of this video. This video was funded in part by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Office for Coastal Management under the Coastal Zone Management Act in conjunction with the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services Coastal Program 